So in this video, quickly, I want to show you how you can debug your code, your project in VS Code. And actually, it's for Next.js projects. And it could work for other projects as well, but it's basically specific to Next.js in this video. OK, so it's really simple. And actually, there is a couple of ways to do that. But um, this is the best way to do it and because it's based on the next JS documentation itself so uh, I think it's good that you go with this way I've seen a couple of other videos uh, but uh, they don't work in a right way actually some of them if you don't the configuration right uh, there are times that it just opens um, a new Chrome tab which actually doesn't have this uh, existing session so you have to log in again and refresh everything uh, from scratch so let's jump into the code and see how we can deal with it so here I have a project and actually this is my SAS project I'm working on this and it's going to be a real thing uh, where is it it's here so it's going to be a real application I'm working on this it's a uh, CV job description and comparison uh, application so basically you insert your CV here and also the job description and when you push um, when you click on analyze button it gives you some kind of a score and some kind of analysis about how your CV is a good match a good fit for this job uh, position. So I'm not going to talk about this SAS project, just wanted to uh, see how we can do it in a real project. So uh, in the main uh, folder, in the main root after your project, here you, uh, if you don't have this folder .vs code, you need to create this folder .vs code, and then inside that you need to create a new file called launch.json and when you have this you should put uh, the configuration here the configuration is like this so it's just simple versioning and here we have some configurations and well in different uh, ways you can actually add or remove some of these configurations but this is the best combination I think uh, and with this configuration you don't have to run your project separately so uh, with this configuration it's gonna run first run your project and then on top of that you can debug your uh, code so first we want to run our project and here uh, use npm run dev actually and if you use yarn you need to replace it with yarn to run your project and also here because I have multiple versions of node uh, on my system so first I want to select uh, node version 18 to work with this one so and we use this and then I can run my project with npm rom dev and then here we have the actual configuration for launching a browser and then this is the configuration for attaching the uh, browser to VS code to actually do the uh, debugging so you don't have to know what it does actually behind the scenes so just the configuration and the easiest way to get this configuration is from the uh, nextjs.org uh, uh, docs or you could search like this uh, nextjs vs code debug and it's gonna be the first probably the first item in your search so click on that and here you have the debugging configuration for VS code which is really simple and you don't have to do that much uh, one other thing is that make sure that here you put a right uh, well it doesn't matter that much but keep remember that this is the port you're gonna use for your application so let me just run this when you have this configuration in that VS code folder and under launch.js json uh, file you just need to go to this run and debug uh, section here and just select your 
uh, a configuration and then you can just press run button and here you can see that first it runs the project and then it's ready for uh, debugging and when you see this nav or toolbar basically here it means that it's in the debugging mode so now uh, to do the debugging actually you need to uh, put some breakpoints in your code so here for instance uh, when I want to upload a file and after the uh, file uploading is done I want to see the result so here I can just put a breakpoint you can see it's a empty dot empty white dot here and now the only thing I need to do just go to the application and here the only thing I need to do just log in and you can see that it uh, logged in automatically because it uh, I'll have already a session here now for instance if I upload a file here upload it now if I go back to my code now you can see that the uh, white empty circle turns into a red button a red point here so it means that now the program stopped here so you can come to this uh, navbar here to the section and to the debug console and here you can say that for instance I want file that URL and you can print it here so this is my file URL and you can also see the variables at the running time here so I have this file metadata here and all kinds of other information so this is basically the gist of debugging there is a lot of good tools here with VS Code and actually you can trace back the code for instance in call stack here and but that's all pretty much for setting up the uh, configuration I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel please okay thank you bye bye